Hey gang, happy Pride Month, even though it's going to be a bit of a weird one. <laughs> So, I will probably be interrupting this video because I don't actually have that much charge and also I'm probably going to need to leave at some point for a meeting. But, it is 2nd of June, it is one of the weirdest Pride Months that we will probably experience in our lifetimes. Um, so, I wanted to do something, so I'm going to try and do a couple of Pride videos on this channel. Maybe I'll do one, maybe I'll do some more, we'll find out. But, today I'm going to do a bit of a classic, which is some Pride makeup looks, because even though you're not going to a parade, you can still do it in your house, because like, why not? And also, maybe you're watching this in the future. Um, we're going to start off with what I think is a pretty low-key one, which I just do sometimes anyway, uh, and then we're going to tone that one up a little bit, um, and then we are going to do an out there one that I wore for a parade. These are all looks that I've done in the past. I look really weird about glasses on. This is all looks that I've done in the past for different parades. I've done more, so if you want more, let me know, there is more, um, but these are the ones I'm going to show you today, so let's get on with it with the first one. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just my base as normal, so let's go do that. Okay, so this one is going to be pretty low key, we're just going to do some rainbow eyeshadow, I realise I look like a crazy person right now. So. This one's going to be pretty standard, we're going to do three colours on this line, three colours on this line, so we are going to do uh, red, yellow, no sorry, red, orange and then yellow in the corner, um, it would make more sense to do it the other way, however, you want to put the lightest colour in the middle and then we're going to do green, blue, purple, this eye you've got to be careful with because it um, can get kind of muddy, this one will look bright and nice but this one can get kind of muddy so watch out for this one so yeah we're going to start over here we're going to do the orange in the middle and then we're going to do the red and the yellow last just a tip as well um if you're worried about getting um eyeshadow on your face i have some reusable cotton pads you can use normal cotton pads but these are better for the environment um and i just glue on my face with that if you've set your foundation properly you shouldn't get anything coming off on the pad and it stops it you might get a little bit on your face but it stops it getting like all over your face i should also add as well that this is infinitely better if you use a primer but we're in the middle of a lockdown i don't have a primer and i'm not gonna go and risk my life and other people's lives to buy a primer so i don't have a primer <laughs> okay there we go orange in the middle again you don't have to worry about this one being that neat because we're gonna go over it and we're gonna do red in the corner i don't know if you can see but i'm not like moving the brush that much just sort of patting it in just so you've got a little bit more control of what you're doing so there we go we are going to blend this into itself a little bit more but first we are going to do the yellow in the corner i'm going to use this end of the brush because it's slightly smaller for this one and then i'm just going to take it a little bit under my eye not too much and i'm going to do the same with the red again i'm not going to take it too much a little bit it's just to so that there isn't like a distinct line because we're not doing a cat eye shape. To blend out the edge I'm going to take a more neutral colour and use it to blend upwards. You should use a different brush for this but I want to clean more brushes so I'm going to use the same brush. You see there? It was very quick, very simple. I don't actually want to blend this out too much because I want to keep it quite dramatic. I think this is nice if you use a white eyeliner with it but I have a red one so I'm going to use that one because again I don't have a white one because we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm also going to highlight my uh, under my brow and my brow bone um, in white because that's what the colour I need to use to highlight with because that is one shade lighter than me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Um, same technique, you might want to be a little bit more careful with that one because um, it can go a bit muddy if you're not careful which you'll probably see in a minute so I'm gonna go do that. So there we go we have the other eye done and um, sometimes I will pat a little bit of glitter onto this I'm on top but I don't want to do that because glitter gets everywhere and we have two other looks to do and um, so I am going to do my eyeliner and do my mascara and that's pretty much it for this one. I think the trick to making sure that the colours don't sort of all just muddy together is taking really really bright colours. Um, as you can see on this side they kind of do but it kind of works but if you start muddying these three together they don't work as well. Um, so yeah just making sure that you're using really really bright colours um, and try and get them like not um, sort of not the, the same spectrum so not as if you're using like three colours next to each other but like with slightly different undertones because they'll stand out a little bit better as well so yeah I'm going to use um, a red tight line so a red waterline here and uh, blue on here and then I'm going to do my eyeliner and 
Mama's car. So there we go. I didn't do a particularly good job of my eyeliner or my mascara for that matter. I thought it was okay. Now I'm looking at it in the camera, it's not great. This is what I would consider like a low key pride look. Uh, you could wear this potentially to work, depending on what your workplace is like, um, potentially to maybe like a retail job if they're doing pride things. Um, so yeah. This one is pretty chill. So now I'm gonna crack the face paint out and, and I'm gonna upstage this look a little bit. Uh, so what I'm about to show you, I'm going to use this eye look for because I've just done it, but I didn't do it with this. Um, when I did this look for Pride, I did a plain eye and then I did rainbow eyebrows. I will put a picture of that on screen here. I just have to get the post because my new glasses just arrived. So let's do a very impromptu unboxing. <laughs> They were an emergency order because I lost my prescription sunglasses in a forest. So I ordered some new ones and then I found my old ones again. So these were my jazzy ones. They are less jazzy in real life than they are on the photo. But hey ho, these are fine. I just got them because they were free. Um, nice to have some clean glasses and then we have our sunglasses which also aren't the ones that I wanted because I was having an absolute nightmare on the phone but they're prescription sunglasses so I don't really care yeah they're sunglasses not as nice as my old ones but I found my old ones and yeah the prescription stronger in these ones so I can actually see in them that was fun for this one I'm going to be painting Maybe a bit closer, tiny little pride flags on my face. Um, but I do not have a red because it is in York because I had to move home rather quickly because, again, don't know if we've mentioned pandemic. So I am going to use a lipstick instead. I haven't tried this before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let's see. For this, I would advise using a tiny, tiny brush. I am using this one, which is made for body painting, but if you don't have one you can use a paintbrush but if you do use a paintbrush make sure it is either brand new or very 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 clean do not have any normal paint on it you cannot use normal paint on your skin don't do it so that's roughly what i'm looking at for the placing if you're wearing glasses i would not do the one that i've put on my nose but right now i'm not right now i'm just demonstrating this look for you nail art brushes are good for this kind of thing but again brand new ones and sometimes you can get them in poundland have a look in poundland for them honestly if you see them in poundland just buy them anyway because they're really really good tiny brushes um i use them for loads of things the poundland nail art brushes i'm going to continue to do all of these you pretty much get the idea if you don't have the color mix it or use lipstick and if you do have the color use the face paint okay so last time i did this i managed to make it a bit thinner but it's been a while since i've done it so this is what we're looking at um because again we're doing lockdown pride um i used some eyeliner i used um some eyeshadow that i mixed with water the purple it's actually eyeshadow mixed with water uh so is the yellow the red is lipstick uh the green so no the blue is um eyeliner so that is what we got but it kind of works please focus on my face there we go, it kind of works. So yeah, this is my more like, is definitely a pride look, but it's still pretty low key and not particularly difficult. Um, I'm not gonna put a lip on because my lips don't like it when I take lipstick on and off, but you get the idea and I'll put a picture of what it looked like when I did it a bit more freshly with actual paint and things on the screen. You've probably already seen it. <laughs> okay, I have taken off the rainbows. I actually have to take off all of my base and do it again. So if I look different, that's probably why. Um, and I'm going to show you the more elaborate, definitely for Pride Parade slash Lockdown Pride Parade look because it is very unsubtle. So we are going to do the the classic three contour three shape. But we are going to do it in a rainbow. I've actually done something similar to like this before on my channel, but I did it with fishnet on. But that's not all. So I'm going to start off doing that. So we're going to like do the three colours and I'll time lapse it out and then I will catch up with you. We done. See what I mean? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on it. Um, we're going to take some white paint. We're going to use the same old paintbrush that we used before, but make sure that you clean it. Um, and we're going to draw some clouds and some little stars on. Drawing some little stars on the basically just crosses. And um, I'm going to 
flick on um, some white bits. You want to do this quite carefully because you don't want to get it all over the rest of your face. So just like cover it up like that um, and sort of concentrate it around the stars that you painted. The way that you do this, by the way, is just making your paint really, really wet. But I will be aware, and did do my nails yesterday, that if you get this uh, white nail, white face paint on nail varnish for some reason, it doesn't come off. So I've turned my nails. <laughs> so there are the stars. Next thing we're going to be doing is the clouds. So to do these, you want to keep the bottom flat and just sort of like normal cloud shape out the top. So get the bottom flat, it just, I don't know, looks better. I'll show you. <laughs> There we go, there's the little clouds. They're not that difficult, but I would recommend giving this practice if you're planning on doing this for anything, uh, which I imagine you're probably not, unless you're watching this in the future. Uh, the last thing that we are gonna add is some glitter, because obviously. I'm also gonna wear this for the rest of the day. I have a meeting later. Um, I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> so I tap glitter on using a flat brush like this because it is a bit easier to control. Um, and also, if you don't want it to get everywhere, use the cotton pad. So I have different colour glitters, so I've put a different colour on each of the colours, um, except for the top one because I have a um, like a red gold multi-chrome, so it, it's both colours. Um, but if you don't have all of the colours and you can obviously just use one, I would recommend using silver um, if you don't have all of them because if you use one colour over the top, it's not going to make the colours stand out as much. But yeah, this is the, the very unsubtle look. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, this makes my face look a little bit lopsided because I've got like those contours and stuff not on the side, but hey -ho. Um I hope you enjoyed these looks. Uh, they are pretty straightforward once you have a go. They didn't take me that long. I know I've paint in my hair, but it's all good. Um, I hope you enjoy your lockdown pride. Um, you're probably never going to have one like this again, so make the most of it. You might as well. It's not going to happen again. Um, so yeah if you like this video there's new ones every once like to subscribe and all that jazz um what else should i say if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and i'll see you next week bye